Folks, obey my commands at all times. All right? Watch the low blow, the rubber punches. Okay? Shake hands. Good luck. But both fighters did. And then he, what he'll do, he'll pull on the attack. Right hand lead by Chavez. Taylor flurries in return. There he goes, hitting Chavez, the side of Chavez's body. They trade a right and a left, and Taylor did more here. You see the right hand of Taylor, he's dropping it. Yep, and Chavez is throwing over the top of Taylor now, beginning to land with more consistency. Right hand leads, doing the damage for Chavez now. A solid left inside. And Taylor lands a vicious right hand combination he did what you were talking about before he threw three or four punches and then he got out of there but they didn't linger that's true Larry. that's what that's the key this is another very good round from Eldrick Taylor they're fighting in the zone in the middle of the ring Chavez lands a solid right hand but you see the frustration on Chavez Chavez still boring in coming straight forward against Taylor's flurries in the first three rounds according to punch stat computations Taylor has thrown Right hand lead by Taylor. Still trading four blows to one for Chavez. Chavez tries the left inside. Taylor comes right back. He won this fight in fine fashion. Don't get out. Solid left hand by. And to clarify what I said, Roger Mayweather and Sammy Fuentes ended their bouts on the stools in their corners, not flat on their backs on the canvas. Chavez simply wore them down. Well, Ray Leonard, would you say a near-perfect performance so far from Meldrick Taylor? It's a very good performance by Meldrick Taylor. He's been doing what he needs, needs to do. Boxing. Just boxing. You Punch again. Last 30 seconds, Chavez has landed three solid left hooks inside. Taylor comes back with a bristling uppercut. And another flurry for Meldrick Taylor. Taylor is still exchanging to the body effectively. They trade punches inside, and Meldrick seemed to wobble for just a second. But now he... Right hand lead, solid on the... This is a masterful fight. Solid left hand. In the legs of Meldrick Taylor. Still a lot of bounce. And that gets back to the fact Chavez has not done damage to the body like he He hurt done. Chavez just then. Chavez buckled. Just to clarify, the rest of my prediction was that Chavez would turn it around in the second half of the fight and score a team. How'd you get out? Solid left hook inside by Taylor. Chavez continues to try to come back with the left of the body. But he is not hurting Taylor. Chavez landed a left. Taylor flurries furiously in return. That Taylor has driven him off. That Four. he doesn't want to pay the price. A right and a left by Chavez, and more blood comes out of Taylor's mouth. Taylor begins to flurry with. Um, Crowd chanting Mexico, Mexico, trying to lift Chavez up. They know how desperate the situation is. Taylor lands a right hand lead to start the round off. Taylor went straight for Chavez. An unnecessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's flurry. If you've just joined us, you're in the middle of the ninth round of a classic performance by a young fighter on the threshold of greatness. Meldrick. I've seen more by shots thrown by Taylor than I have by Chavez. And the left hook to the body is to triple up Chavez's it. great. Savage left hook to the body by Taylor. And another. And what you see here again. He's carried out George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful combination. Trading punches inside. And Brilliant stuff from Meldrick Taylor. Chavez on the verge of going down. And Chavez, the great body puncher, is reduced to headhunting. Taylor has to watch out. I'm seeing him being hit by his left hooks. He needs to watch out for those shots. Taylor beginning to look more the worse for wear than the action of the bout would have led you to believe, though. Blood again from the mouth. 
and the nostrils. You watch Both the legs. Are getting to close. Chavez is. Chavez finally seizing the initiative for the. We see two real champions here tonight. About both men. It's impossible to conceive that Chavez is in any way disillusioned about the necessity of a knockout. He's got to knock Taylor out. With three, four left, left to its own time. Crazy. Jeopardy. As round 11 comes toward a close, Julio Cesar Chavez must begin to contemplate the reality in which to produce an unlikely knockout, or he will see his streak end before thousands of his countrymen. The impressive thing, he's still saying comments is thrown by Belgian Tiller. Here in the 11th round, incredible. Two hard punches. a tired Meldrick Taylor slipping to the canvas. Another solid left hook from Meldrick Taylor. Chavez, his, his desperation punch, if you will, because throughout the whole fight, no Taylor Fort, an impressive fight. The left hook set, them, set him up for the right hand, and Meldrick trying to hold himself up, get hit by a solid right hand, and goes through the canvas. Now, here's where Steele makes a critical decision. Eight, Eight nine. nine. Now he looks at him. Are you okay? He's, and stops the fight. You notice Mel's is looking at his corner for instructions. Let's go to ring announcer Chuck Hall for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Steele stops the bout at two minutes, 58 seconds of the 12th round. The winner and now holder of both the WBC and IBF 140 pound championships from Culiacan, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez.